Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, Dell XPS. i7 7 gen but still a decent laptop. Now the problem with this one, this laptop has two ports. What the customer said, the customer is saying uh, the USB-C port was working only when he was moving the, the, the plug. He removed the port but also the laptop is not charging on the DC jack, yeah, so the... Charger is plugged in but does not identify the rating, actually the power of the charger, and it will not charge. Now the customer left the laptop with a 17% battery charged, so we can uh, test. So basically the laptop is not charging on this port and the USB-C which, uh, which was removed and has to be repaired. But the customer is saying the laptop is working. Pressing the power button and indeed the laptop it is coming on. And yeah, we have picture. Yeah, so the laptop it is working fine. Good, so this is a pretty straightforward job. We have to fix the USB-C and we have to figure it out why the normal plug is not working. Actually, I do have the, one second, we can check that. Probably it will not work even in my one uh, because it's not genuine. So plug in the charger and nothing happened. No, nothing, it's taking no current at all. Strange. I think I have current here. Yeah, I do have current. Anyway, let's open the laptop and let's try to have a look inside. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. Yeah, a classic uh, Dell XPS. Also, Dell Precision, I think, has the same board. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWA, it's your one-stop solution, based on the fact that all kinds of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, she metal, are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus, which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free, all you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the PCB quality, we can clearly see here we are speaking about uh, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now don't forget, you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Now let's go back to our uh, repair. In order to reach the USB-C, we have to take the motherboard out. Yeah, we have no choice. So just give me like a uh, few minutes to take the board out. And the motherboard, it's out. Yeah, and the USB-C port is missing. You know, I'm looking here and I can see a switch. What's the story with the switch? I mean, I can't see that switch to be triggered by anything. If anyone knows what's the story with the switch, uh, just let me know in the comments. Okay, let's focus on the USB-C. We have to fix that port. Okay, we can see the port has been removed. We have to find that charging port and replace it. So I found another Dell board and I believe this is the USB-C port we are looking for. But we can check. So this is the back of the port we need and this is the port I want to use. I mean, kind of the same, you don't think? Yeah, the pins, they have the same pattern. Yeah, looks the same. So let's remove this port first. 480 degrees. Hit from the back of the port. The port should come out easily. Perfect, so the port is out. Let's see if it's looking good. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Now here, let's apply some uh, 180 degrees uh, solder wire. Just 
just you know to lower the temperature of the of the solder from here perfect yeah looking good now we have rosin we have solder it's nothing to clean there i will say let's go straight and solder the pour back So I'm gonna use 300, uh, 340 degrees. We should be fine with 340. And the port is sliding inside nicely. Perfect. So the port, it is soldered on place. Yeah, we can check the pins. All are soldered properly. Yeah, let's clean the board a little bit. Just to leave it clean. Yeah, looks fine. Let's see if the port is working. So USB-C. The meter and plug in the charger. The meter it is coming on 19 volts. So the laptop, um, the PD controller from the board is working fine. Power button, not sure where is the power button. Is not on the board, probably not. Oh, yeah, it is on the board here. Here on the corner, pressing the power button and the board is taking like 1.1 amp and it's coming on. So the port is working fine. Yeah, we can check even on the other uh, direction like this. And it's still working fine. And the port, it is soldered properly. So we solved one problem. Now the second problem, it's a little bit more complicated to figure it out why the other port is not working. Because the USB-C has the PD controller and end of story. But this port, we have the back and boost uh, converter here. This one. Yeah, so this is the power supply which is creating the main power rail. So the port is supplying 19 there. And the PD controller is supplying 19 here. So this power supply should, must be good. Probably is good. Yeah, then our only issue is from the charging port, we should have two MOSFETs, then the 19 should reach this power supply. But then we have the charger ID pin. And there, there can be some problems. Now here you have the BQ chip, but this one is fine. Nothing wrong with the BQ chip. I think nothing wrong with the BQ chip. Yeah, but the customer said the, the Windows uh, didn't identify the charger, the rating. Yeah. So we have this power supply. Here we have a bunch of MOSFETs. And here you have the charging port. Then the plus of the charging port is going where? We have the middle pin there on the, on the, on the middle. So the middle pin... It's fine, not short on the middle pin. Good. Then plus, I'm assuming the plus is coming here. No, this is from the USB-C. Okay. So where the plus is going? Let's see. It's coming here, so it's beeping. From the charging port, it's beeping here. So uh, those two MOSFETs, this one is good. This one is fine. 
good, good. Then uh, the middle pin, not sure where the middle pin is going, but let me try a trick, yeah, I'm gonna lower the voltage to like 3 point something, I'm gonna lower the current on the power supply, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like 170 milliamps, yeah, that's fine. And I will come with the power supply exactly on the charger ID pin. And it's fine. Yeah, so, so we have no short on the charger ID pin. Okay, weird. Uh, let me put this board back. And uh, I want to focus on the charging port and on, uh, on a proper charger. I want to try with a proper charger to charge uh, the battery. Where is the battery? Here is the battery. Okay, so the battery is here. With the USB-C, we should see some current, you know. The battery should charge. So the meter is coming on. 19 volts with no current. Yeah, it's going up 1.7 amps. Yeah, so the battery, is, no, the board is not on. We should press the power button in order to come on. The, the board, uh, the BIOS didn't get reset because we have a BIOS battery exactly here. You can see it? Yeah, this one. Because the board, it will not come on. Uh, apart from the moment you actually press the power button. So it's taking 100, uh, 1.7 amps. So it's charging fine from the USB-C. Good. Let me take the charging port out from here. So we took out the charging port. Uh, let me try to find a proper charger, genuine one. Okay, found one, but the power is kind of low. We have like only like three amps there. But anyway, we should see the battery charging. And the only way to figure it out if the battery is charging is by checking the battery voltage. So we have 18.9 and on the battery we have 12.9 and the voltage is going up. Check that, check that. You can see the voltage is going up. So I believe uh, the customer has probably a copy charger. And I know there are people on the, I've seen on the past videos. Um, some people are saying you put a resistor and the charger it will work. Of course not. Of course not. Of course it will not work. There are some cheap laptops. They are working on that way. Uh, by using a resistor from the charger ID pin to ground or to plus. But not on this expensive Dell XPS. Now, checking with my charger, just to understand the difference. This is my charger, yeah, 19 volts. This charger has a resistor inside. And it will work with cheap uh, Dell laptops. So we have like 19, we have a bunch of current. Plug in the charger and it's, not, it's taking no power, and nothing. I mean, check here, yeah? We do have 19. We do have 19. Check here. We have 19.4, you can see. But just because you have the, the, the voltage, that doesn't mean it will charge. You need the charger ID pin. And on the charger ID pin, my adapters, like this one, you see, have two pins here. But the resistor is inside. And we can check the resistor. We can check the value of the resistor. Now, on the middle pin, it is a resistor, but I'm not sure what is the value of the resistor. I mean, this is very, very high. But anyway, it is a resistor. And here is no resistor, so not sure what pin is here. But let me, it's minus. It's a resistor from minus to the middle pin.
yeah working fine on the cheap dell laptops but not on this one on this one it will not work you can see but with a genuine one a genuine charger because the communication is digital from the charger on the middle pin the communication is between the ground and the middle pin and they are speaking together the charger with the with the laptop with the laptop ec chip so plug in this charger and one more time battery voltage is going up that's mean it's charging the battery so with a genuine charger uh, the this laptop it will charge on the on the dc jack let me put all back together quickly okay so everything is back in place let's plug the battery good now let's test both chargers Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. Plug in the charger, the meter is coming on. It's taking 3.1 amps, check there. A lot of current. Mm -hmm. And we do have the charging sign on the on the screen, yeah? With the other charger, with a genuine charger on the DC jack, and you can see the charging sign, good. And with my one, with my one, plug in the charger, it's taking like 500 milliamps, but that's not charging the battery, yeah? So it's taking, indeed, it's taking some current. But just to hold the, the laptop on, we still have the charging sign there, check that, we have the charging sign. But it's not charging the battery. If I shut down the laptop, you will see exactly zero current. Yeah, let's just shut down the laptop. Pressing the power button and the laptop is going off. Check that, no current. So it is taking some current uh, from the charger, but it's not charging at all. And obviously it's not working. The battery, it will still get discharged with this charger. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. All we have to do to put is to put it back the, the back cover and the job is ready. Hopefully I made the uh, customer happy with this repair. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.